Today, a federal court ruled that Texas cannot force book publishers and booksellers to rate their books based on sexual content. Now, lawmakers passed a bill requiring publishers to do just that, saying there was too much explicit material in school libraries. Our education reporter Wayne Carter has more. A few years ago, sexually explicit images began being shared on social media. Parents saying they found them inside books and school libraries and demanding they come off the shelf. Ending book fairs, the Texas lawmakers, even the governor, demanded more oversight. We went to war to try to get these books removed, uh, any of them removed that are obscene in nature and, and in content. Representative Jared Patterson of Frisco wrote House Bill 900, requiring publishers to rank and rate books for sexual material and imposing fines if they're not done properly. Critics say lawmakers use concerns over one or two books to launch an assault on all books containing information on the LGBTQ community. You absolutely should be able to look at what your children are reading and evaluate whether or not you think that that is appropriate for them, but you don't get to make decisions for other people's children. Laura Prather is the attorney representing the booksellers and publishers. She says both judges who reviewed the law took issue with the constitutionality, saying regulating books in schools is a school this issue, is a not the job of those who sell them. Said. Those collection standards, which TEA and others have come together to publish and implement, that is the way to address this problem, not trying to get the middleman who is a vendor of books. One of the judges also questioned how publishers could make decisions about what's acceptable in one community versus the next. But Representative Patterson insists this fight won't stop. But that's why you have an appeals process in the legal system, because they don't always get it right. And, you know, we had a number of attorneys review this material, review the bill, work with us on crafting this legislation. And we use multiple Supreme Court cases uh, in the crafting of this bill. Those against the law are calling this decision by one of the most conservative benches a significant win. But those for it say they will appeal and celebrate other successes they've had regulating what books are in children's hands. Wayne Carter, NBC5.